welcome to F2 News. I'm Xander, and this is Kavan, and Hello. we're back with a. N and today we're interviewing Mr. Keto about the cups in the lunchroom. So, um, what do you hope adding the cups will do? Adding the cups to the lunchroom will do. Well, we're hoping that it's going to help kids to. Um, instead of talking so much, they're going to have some quiet time so that they will be eating their food. So we want them to make sure they eat all their food up um, at during lunchtime so that they're not hungry later in the afternoon. I have a question myself. Mm -hmm. Do you think after people see this video, they would understand the cups and then we'll start, we'll stay quiet when we have the red cup? I hope so. I, we've explained to them why we're doing it, but I'm hopefully this will help just reinforce that so that they, they know that there's a good reason behind it. All right. So question two. Was there a problem with the lunchroom before the cup was enforced? The problem that we were having was that people were talking so much that they weren't eating their food. And so then a lot of, not only was a lot of food going to waste, then kids are going back to class and they don't have the energy they need to make it through the afternoon. So then they're tired and they're putting their heads down and they're not, they're um, not being as successful in the afternoon as they could be. So we want them to make sure they're eating their food so they have that energy so they have a great afternoon and, and learn lots. Um, where did where did this idea come from? The idea actually came from another elementary school that, that implemented the same thing. So another um, some of the other elementary schools um, in the school districts uh, are doing the same thing, and I heard about it, so we decided to give it a try as well. All right. If the if you could change the color of the cups, what colors would you add and why? I don't think I would change the colors. I think I would leave them the same. The reason we chose red was because red means stop, right? When you think about a stop sign or a stop light. Mm -hmm. So it's a good visual for kids to know that, okay, I see a red cup. That means I need to stop talking. Um, Last question. What do you think would happen if the cups were not being used? Um, I think that the cups are just a nice visual to remind people. Do we need them, do you think, to do, make the lunchroom quiet? Mm, I don't know. I think probably if I, but me being in there helps them to be quiet. If I remind them to be quiet, they would. But sometimes it's just a good visual for kids that they see them, they go, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to be quiet. So I think if they weren't there, maybe it'd be a little bit noisier. And people would, you know, be doing more talking and not getting their food eaten. <clears throat> All, right. All right. Well, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Let me ask you this, and I have a question for you. As students, what do you guys think of the Red Cups? Um, I think... I, it's good, but um, I think it's kind of weird because, like, they're cups and people could just, like, change them at any time. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. I honestly like the cups because when it's red, most, people's qu most people are quiet, but I can kind of hear whispering, and I'm fine with whispering because I like quiet areas. Mm -hmm. So, and that is true, even though, even though some people are still talking, I think it's a lot, I think the majority of the people are really trying to focus on eating their food. Um, we've seen less food being wasted, which is good. As Xander said, um, having the cups so people can change it at times, so I think that there should be a light, which is red for stop and eat, and green, that you change the light. Mm-hmm make one red and one green so people can't change it. That's a good idea. So maybe sometime, it probably won't happen this year, but maybe sometime when we have money we can invest in something like that. The other thing that we're doing is, and I've kind of been talking to the kids, is that letting them know that their quiet time is that time when they're in the in the lunchroom all by themselves. So, for instance, for fifth grade, like you guys, when the third graders leave, that's your symbol to say, okay, they're la they're gone. We're here by ourselves. We're quiet now. And when you see the fourth graders come in, now you know, okay, now I'm back to talking because that gives you exactly that ten minutes from the time one class leaves until the next one comes in. It's about ten minutes, sometimes sometimes less, um, but then that gives you that time that you know, okay, we're in here by ourselves. So now we need to eat quietly. Um, and then when the other class comes in, now you know. So you could probably actually even do it without the cups, just by that visual when classes leave and come. I have a question myself. Mm -hmm. Does it irritate you when people are talking and not when the red cup is up? Well, I wouldn't say it irritates me. I just, I'm trying to reinforce with the kids that, hey, you need to be eating. Okay, because I really, what I really want them to do is just to eat, because I don't want anybody to be hungry in the afternoon. And I want everybody to have the energy they need to be good learners. All right, that's that's that. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching again. This is Xander and Kavan with F2 News. Bye. Bye.